What's up, everybody? It's your girl Isabella Terra Tarot back at it again, getting here to speak with your messages. Um, thank you so much to everyone who has donated to the channel. All your love donations are greatly appreciated, um, and I'm definitely working um, appreciation candles for you guys. Okay. But I've also had a whole bunch of like comments asking if I do other signs and sometimes I will if I feel like it, but I'm not really big on, you know, um, spreading myself too thin. I um, predominantly do Gemini readings for YouTube. If you would like a personal, you know, all my information will be in the description box below, but you know, most of my donations are Gemini, so that's who I read for. Um, Anyway, that being said, y'all, I've had some weird visions, and it's like I kept, I kept knowing I needed to get on here and do the readings, but like events kept pl um, taking place that were just like keeping me from being able to do it, and like I wanted to make sure when I come on here, I've actually got, I'm not drained. I actually have some energy for you guys. So the song that kept playing on repeat in my head was Wrecking Ball by Molly Cyrus, okay? And I have no idea why, but it was, it kept, like I kept waking up to hearing that song play in my head, and I don't know why it's just, I mean, that song gets on my fucking nerves, but that was the song, so anyway. Um, and the vision was of running late for, like, Somebody needs to be asking for directions right now, or somebody needs to not be so scared to ask for directions is what I'm getting. Like, I'm seeing somebody being late for a flight. Something about um, a flight's about to take off, and you're, you didn't know how to read your ticket, and um, asking the wrong people for um, advice when you should have just went to the service service desk or something. There's something about needing to ask a professional. Like, I, I feel like somebody is seeking guidance from someone who is possibly not a professional. Um, they're seeking guidance from just, like, randoms because they're in, too embarrassed to go to a professional to ask for advice. Okay? Um, and somebody's going to end Like, I, I saw someone board the wrong damn plane. So, all this means is you're just going to have a runaround. You're going to have to pay more money. Um, something about shelling out more money than you even wanted to just because you didn't want to ask for help or ask for directions, okay? And I did get the, the message running out of time. That's going to be for somebody. Somebody's running out of time. But, all right. So, back to this Wrecking Ball song because I'm all over the place. Get into uh, Gemini energy and it just is, goes crazy. All right. So, that song, I feel like that was her basically. And you know, this is where she comes out swinging on this ball on a chain, butt ass naked, right? And so she was basically saying that she loved this person. You know, I, I, I don't want to say, I, my heart and vein, we jumped, never asking why. Let me push. I fell under your spell of love. No one could deny. Basically, she is realizing that she put way more into a relationship than she should have. Molly put in too much uh, work into a relationship where she was trying to force someone to get them to let their wall down. And she realized she shouldn't have been forcing anybody at all to do anything. She's like, she realized she hurt herself in the long run chasing after this motherfucker who was all about themselves. Um, she basically let this person know that, like, I feel like she left the door open saying, you know, they could always come back. But it's like, I feel like, in the in a way, the song is saying you basically left a door open for too long, waiting for someone who wasn't worth your time or, like, running out of time wasn't worth your time. And I feel like somebody, somebody in the situation was holding the door open for way too long. The person didn't come, and you're feeling like you you wasted you wasted your life waiting on somebody. Like something about wasting your life waiting on some somebody, or somebody feels this way about you. Either way, 
Like she she was uh, put herself out there in that one. But it just really feels like somebody like it's always this jealous energy. Like they like you waited for this person for so long, they didn't get their shit together, and now they're wanting to come back after the door is closed, but they've run out of time and they're sitting here boarding the wrong planes. They're too embarrassed to reach out. Like, I feel like this person's too embarrassed to reach out to you or to a professional. Um, they're asking people who are not credible about you. They're asking, like, you are the plane and you have left the building is really what I'm getting. And this person is sitting here realizing that they drug their feet too fucking long. They drug their feet too long. They didn't open up. They didn't express their emotions like they should have. And now they're really fucking feeling it because the plane has left the motherfucking station and it has left without them. Okay. Random. That's a, that's going to be a message for somebody. That person realizes they got left. Okay. Anyways, let's see. I'm going to use a different deck today. A few different decks. Let's see what we get. Might we'll take that. What is the message for the Gemini today? In the floor. Okay. We've got Lady of the Gift, Generosity, Receiving, Withholding, and Resting Tree, Patience, Stillness. Underneath it all, we've got the Lord of Gratitude and Service, Selflessness, Humility, Conscious Action. All right, Gemini. Somebody's humiliated by their actions. Somebody's like really humiliated by their actions. And I feel like they're going to focus on service now and trying to regain ground. Somebody's about to, like, somebody is, seriously, patience and stillness. Like, I feel like this is like a sleepless nights card. Like, Somebody may freaking be homeless. Like, that looks like somebody sleeping under a bridge to me. Like, I feel like the person that this is about doesn't really, like, they. in some way, they never really made it like they thought they would. Like, they wanted to get to a certain level in life before they came for you. And I'm really seeing that they, like, they still are not there. Whoever this is still isn't there. They're probably still sleeping at their mama's house. You know, like, I'm getting that this person is homeless or they don't have a home to go. They don't have, or their house is not a home or something. Something about this. Like, I feel like where they are, it's cold, distant, and they don't feel any love. And it's like the only love that they felt, they're recalling past situations with you. And they're trying to figure out how to get back on your good side. Like, this person may be, like, someone who is waiting on your call and hoping that you ask them for something so they can get back in your good graces. Um, the lady of the gift, generosity, receiving, withholding. Like, I feel like you are in a better situation financially than this person. And it's like, I feel like, look, she looks like the ice queen, though. Um, I get that you're not giving to this person. You're not giving to this person. I feel like, actually, I am feeling like there has been some energy, like... There, there may have been an energetic tie between you and this person for a while, but that shit has been severed. That shit has been cut. And it's like, you're over here flourishing. It's like you turned your pain into positive. Positive, like you, you turned your pain into, your pain has been turned into abundance. Your, your pain has been turned into blessings. Like I feel like instead of being rigid, and cold you have found a way to be blissful in the energy like I feel a lot of giving back I feel like you're you breathe life into people who you know or are in the situation that you might have been left in at one point in time I feel like you've gotten to a different level in your life and like you realize that you can be 
inspiration for other people who have gone through really hard times and like who have been left out in the cold you know possibly like the underdog situations it's like i really feel like you have found a way to rise above and you're in the in the um vibration of giving back like i really feel like you're in, you're in the vibration of giving back because you've made it you've turned lemons into lemonade heard that but I am getting that there is someone who is suffering because you've cut them out of your energy. It's like I believe you've quit giving to this person. In some way, this energetic tie that you had to this person um, was actually helping keep them afloat. It was helping keep them in a more positive state, whether you realized it or not. There was some form of, like, almost feels like energetic vampire type shit. This person who was leeching off of your energy. Like, I don't even think, like, it's something that you possibly didn't even know was happening. But this person was leeching off your energy, leeching off your abundant energy. And, you know, I feel like it might have at one point in time depleted you and taken you to, you know, just feeling really tired, feeling really sluggish, like, feeling like, you don't have anything for yourself. In some way, it was taken from you, okay? But you've severed this tie between you and this person, and now this person is actually struggling. Like, it's like some of them are struggling to make ends meet. It's almost like, I almost feel like this person might have been causing a lot of drama in your life, and you severed the tie because of that. You did not want them bringing you down any further you did not want that drama in your life it's like you realize you know so certain people are not meant to stay in your life certain people are not meant to be able to ride your coattails i heard that shit and it's like you had given and given and given to the point of depleting your own energy and you know the plane has left the station you're no longer giving to this energy anymore and it's allowing you to become more abundant right now and it's like what i'm also seeing is you're giving to people who are worthy of your time now worthy of your energy you're no longer giving to the lower level like entities or lower level people who just want to fucking cling to your energy you are separating yourself from that and that was like i feel, I feel like it was a test that god was putting you through um the lord high lord of gratitude and service selflessness humility and conscious action yeah, like, it feels like Ascended Masters type shit. Like, I feel like you're, you're, you're no longer giving to the lower level people who are sucking you fucking dry. And, like, you are not doing that anymore. You're giving to people who, like, I feel like you're the type of person who can feel energies um, you can you can tell whether someone's trying or not. You can tell whether somebody is worthy of your time or not. And you know you're you're starting to give to those who are worthy is really what I'm getting. You're not just giving to just anybody anymore because you're realizing that's depleting you. And that person will never grow with you just continuing to give them handouts. With you continuing to you know give them you know your your energy they have not earned your energy and you're realizing this you're realizing this you're stepping away you know plane has left the station train has left the station you are no longer um fucking with this person and i'm getting that this person is really uh depressed over it but i mean it is what it is you cannot take everybody with you like and i feel like this is what you're learning it's like i feel like you've gone through um some times where you had like you went through harder times because this was a test. Like, you had to figure it out. You had to figure out the two people in your life that you needed to um, drop. Like, I really get that there was two people that you needed to drop. And I feel like you've dropped them. Um, yeah. So, there's that. And you're about to be blessed for dropping those two people. All right. How is this person going to respond to being dropped? <laughs> How is this person? I wish all these would quit fucking flying. How is this person going to respond to being dropped? 
Like this person is broke as hell. Mm, that's what I expected. <sighs> they are broke as hell. Okay. They're realizing that they've got to walk away from the situation. It's, it's just the cycle's closing. It's ended. It's it, it, game over. You know, it's over. Like, I'm getting that this person is heartbroken. Their head's down. Sleepless nights. It's like, in some way, you were giving this person your blessings. Like, I don't know if you were actually physically giving this person money or they were draining you financially. They were draining you spiritually, emotionally. But I feel like you, you're, like, something, something switched. And this person, I guess, is like, dude, how are they going to respond? I, I mean, I see them going into a serious depression. And I do see that they're going to try to reach back out to you. Like, I do see some fuckboy shit here for some of you. This was like a male individual, and they're going to try to come through. But look, this could be somebody really fucking sexy, okay? This could be someone who's going to try to tempt you with uh, the dick is what I'm getting. This person's probably going to come in and try to tempt you, um, sweet talk you, try to get you back in bed, try to um, try to reach back out and not let you go. Um, but, like, what I'm seeing is this person is, like, sleepless nights. Like, they are freaking broke. With you withholding your money from them or withholding your time, energy, effort, it's going to make, they're going to try to reach out, but then when you just like, uh-uh, no, I'm good, they're going to just like, I feel like it's going to force them to work on shit with them themselves. It's really going to hurt them. Like, some of you were dealing with a third party situation in regards to this person, like they would never let go. It's like they wanted to have their cake and eat it too. But it's like they thought that you would always be there. They didn't think that you would actually close the door and lock the door on their ass. Like, this person is, like, really fucking hurt. And they're, um, like, I feel like somebody's playing the victim here. But it was fine when you were the, you know, it was fine when they were making you the victim. But now that they're the victim, like, or I say the victim, it was fine when they were making you they're, they're making you the villain right now. They're trying to make it out like you, you're doing them so dirty. Um, but yet, they're still going to try to reach out to you again and try to get this going again because you're withholding the bag and they're feeling it. They're feeling it. Like, this person has problems making ends meet. They're very, like, it's a very in, unstable energy. Um... This is someone who could never be a king. That's like night night energy. Like I don't and it doesn't even feel like night energy. It feels like page energy, to be completely honest with you. But it's like you're walking away from this person. They're, you know, crying, like crying. This person is like physically like they're crying they're heaving, they're crying so hard. Like they they got that ugly that ugly cry going on, snot rolling down their face, like just just nasty. That, that level of crying, just like, that's that's how hurt that this person is, that you've withdrawn, like, that you're no longer there, um, that you're not entertaining them anymore. I don't really see them as trying to start any more drama with you. I, I feel like they're going to try to reach out one more time, but it's like, it's going to get shut down. And I feel like that's going to do something to them emotionally. It's going to make them really embarrassed for even reaching out. Okay. What's going on for the Gemini in regards to finances and career? Finances and career for the Gemini. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, ooh. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Some of y'all getting new jobs, new money. Page of Swords, Death, Strength. Emperor and Four of Wands. Okay, in regards to career, y'all got something to celebrate. 
um, definitely within the next week. There's some changes going on in your place of employment. Some of you are leveling up. Some of you are coming into management positions. Um, I feel like if you weren't for real in a stable um, career or like if you were in a temp situation, um, that's just becoming permanent, okay? Um, there's changes going on in the place of career. Like you're being, like I feel like you're being given more money. You're being given uh, rewards and recognition. People fucking love you in your place of employment. Like, um, you are really making an impact where you work. I feel like you, if you like, were waiting on a job offer to come in, you're definitely gonna be celebrating that because I do see communications going on in regards to finances and career and paperwork, signing documents. Um, new legal paperwork new legal like if you're dealing with legal situations in regards to finance and career like i feel like if you are hiring an attorney hiring a lawyer you're getting the fucking best lawyer i feel like you're doing you've already done the research um you've looked into all the like you you you've done your due diligence you've um you've definitely researched what you needed to research and found out everything that you needed to in regards to this partnership to know that it's going to be a stable a good partnership and get it get whatever it is that you're actually wanting um i'm seeing it being a very positive okay but there's definitely changes going on new contracts being signed new alliances being made um and just feels like very stable solid grounded energy in regards to finances and career and legal situations for you guys Okay, let's see what's going on for the ones in love, love partnerships. What's going on for the Gemini's in love partnerships? A solid stable partnership it's about to be somebody's wanting to offer the bag somebody's wanting bondage they like somebody's wanting marriage don't you stop my bitch don't kill my vibe okay didn't cut me off man i was about to be mad as hell okay all right okay so for those of you who are in love partnerships I'm definitely seeing that the person that you're dealing with is mentally conflicted by some things. You know, they may have people in their ear. They may have, you know, their own thoughts that fucking plague them. They feel like they poss like you may possibly have different options, um, but they want to solidify something between the two of you. They're definitely the t they're wanting to settle down. They're wanting marriage judgment. Um, they're wanting. I feel like they're wanting to lock it down. What's not seen is they're wanting to lock it down. They feel like you've got other options. And that they're staring in their head about it. Like, someone's second guessing some things. Somebody's fucking jealous of your options. Like, I feel like even though something's, some cycle is done, some cycle's over, cut and dry, like done, they're still in their head about you having options it's like this person wants you though like they only want you there's something going on in regards to this partnership where this person is borderline freaking obsessed with you possibly to almost where it's an unhealthy situation you may have done some spell work you may have you know put some shit on this person and they feel like they can't have anybody but you they want you they want to you know invest money in you they want to take you out they want to buy you furniture they want to buy you a house they want to buy you a vehicle someone want to take you out and go buy some shoes i don't know but it's like i feel like they want to spend money on you they want you to know that you're the only one that they want and they're really hoping that they're the only one that you want but this person um I feel like they're second guessing their appearance. Somebody's second guessing their appearance, okay? Whether this is you or them, you know, 
you you can flip it however you need to flip it but somebody in the situation is second guessing their appearance and they almost feel like they're not good enough for you like I really feel like this person feels like they're really not good enough for you. They're going to try, you know, to come together and solidify the union. They want to be with you, though. They want to, you know... I feel like if they haven't spoken on this shit, they're actually going to speak on it this week. Page of Wands. Like, there's, there's definitely going to be some conversations go on. Possibly this person, you know, exposing the fact that they're jealous of situations or... Um, somebody could possibly be saying something about your social media... And worrying about the people that you're liking on social media. Um, just feeling like they don't. I don't know. It's like they're just jealous. Some, something about jealousy and regard. Like, they, like there's going to be some conversation go on about where they feel like you, you know, looking at other people. But this person only wants you, but they want, um, they want you to only want them too. Okay. That's really what I'm getting. Somebody's like really wanting to, you know, solidify a union, solidify a partnership. Like, this person loves you. And they want to, you know, invest their time, energy, and emote. Like, I feel like they're actually going to start opening up to you emotionally if they haven't already because they don't want you to get away. They don't want to lose their chance with you um, and, they, and I feel like they possibly, in their head, they feel like they could. That's just going to be for some of you guys. All right. And I'm going to just pull one more. I'm going to pull one more from, like, the angel. Let's see what guidance we've got for the Gemini. <laughs> what song is that? I used to think that I was fine enough, but I won't waste my time trying to figure out why you playing games with this all about. And I can't believe you hurt me. I met your girl with a difference. What you see in her, you ain't seen in me. Did I guess it was all just make believe? Love by Keisha Cole. I think that was that song. That might be a song for some of you. That's probably a song for the um the single Gemini's. Somebody, somebody second guessing their their appearance, and really looking through your exes, and kind of wondering why, like why them, why your ex, or why you know, or why them, why why would they choose, or why would you choose them over your ex? Okay. So we've got emotional sensitivity. Honor and respect your deep sensitivity is a gift to us all. And what's not seen is your law and attraction relationships and activities that you once enjoyed are now changing as you become more sensitive and aware of energies. There's some kind of a shift going on with you right now. Like, I almost feel like you're going through a change. Like, you're going through some kind of, um, I feel like there's levels to this shit heard there's there's levels to this shit but you're going through some kind of change within yourself to where you're being forced to feel the things that hurt you in your past um you're having like you're being forced to work through situations and like i feel like you're realizing you attracted certain situations into your life by your perception. Some of you are practicing the law of attraction right now. And realizing like that, that that's a real fucking thing. Like, I feel like this emotional sensitivity is basically going back to the, like, I feel like the relationships. You, you attracted certain relationships in your past and you're really starting to really put that together, you know, in your head on why you attracted certain partnerships into your life and where you were mentally when you did that. And it's like I feel like you're you're going through some kind of shift to where you're realizing you can't think a certain way or feel certain emotions and not attract the same situations that you had in the past that made you more guarded. 
there's certain situations that happened to you in your past that have made you um, react different, like emotionally sensitive. Like I, I feel like they it made you sensitive, and it's like you're really um, diving deep and figuring out what it was that made you like pa the past relationships you went through that made you feel a certain oops, excuse me a certain way. And had you continue to keep attracting the same pattern back into your life. I feel like you're healing that right now. There's something, there's some kind of healing going on with you guys right now to where you are shifting the like what you're attracting. Like you're definitely becoming more aware of your emotions, your emotional state, and why things have been the way that they they are. And I really feel like you are in the process of shifting and changing these things in order to, you know, work for you. You're not allowing yourself to be taken advantage of anymore. You're not allowing just anyone to, to shift your perception about yourself. You're not allowing anyone else to lower your frequency, okay? And that, like that's really guidance. I feel like they're they're pushing you to not lower your frequency for anyone. Like I really feel like you're like really working through um, deep emotional issues that you had probably like let like you just didn't pay attention to it. You kind of just let the shit ride, and you know. You bury the shit deep, deeper and deeper and deeper. It's all kind of surfacing and you're being forced to deal with it. And you're like, you're understanding, you're coming to a full understanding of why you responded to certain situations the way that you did. And you're flipping, flipping it to work for you. You're getting smart about how you deal with shit now. And you're attracting the reality that you want. And you're, you're starting to attract the relationship and the energies that you want. Anyway, so that's what I got for you guys. Um, like, share, subscribe if you need a personal. I am accepting personals this week. Um, again, they are, they'll be sent out within five days of your purchase. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.